shit you live in the canyon hey, what's going on guys dig in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen before getting to the video just like to remind you guys to please do that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so leave a comment down below in order to help me make more money with that being said let's get right into the video all right so what i've got right here is basically just the video track uh along with an impact and a mask on top of this if you do not know how to get this you're most likely some sort of beginner or something like that i'm gonna leave a link in the description to a tutorial and i'll just uh show a timestamp to where you want to go uh and just watch through that in order to actually get this what i've got is basically just the mask which is this the the, the character masked out right there and then i've got this right here and i've also got it slowed down so that it just sort of you know has a slowdown or whatever uh but this effect is actually very very easy so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this uh so what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is just go into your video effects tab and search for blur of all curves just like so just drag default onto here now just go to where you sort of want to start the uh the effect for me it's gonna be like maybe here i guess i don't know uh keyframe shift x go down here go warp x set this to reflect add a keyframe right here go forward here set this to four right here and what you're gonna want to go ahead and do from here is just split the second sort of part right there and then just go and delete this so now you should have something looks like that now this obviously will look very bad uh but you should have the scrolling background and you should have this on top uh now we just make a video track we right click on the new video track go to insert generated media go to vegas solid color click add click ok now click on the color just left click on that drag that up there and drag that down there uh actually just drag it down there just make sure it is completely black and now what we're going to do is click on the cropping settings right there, go to mask, uh, enable that, and then click on the first frame that is down here. Then select the rectangle layer. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just go over to these little dots that are like right here. Uh, they're a bit hard to see, but you will just want to go ahead and find one. And now we, once we've done that, we can just go ahead and make a mask right there. It doesn't need to be perfect straight off the bat. Uh, but now we need to go down, we need to find another dot. Now I'm trying to like get closer to my screen so that I can actually see it. And there we go. Now we just dr have that, drag that on top and set that to minus. So now after that, we should have something that looks like this and they should both be even. Uh, now what you want to go ahead and do from there is just go to the start and just make sure it looks like that. Uh, drag this underneath the mask so that the mask is on top. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is just split it like right there where the scroll starts or whatever. Uh, drag default blur more curves on top of this. Go like a bit before the kill, like here, sort of. Uh, keyframe Z distance, uh, add one right there and then go to the end. And right here, we're going to want to zoom it in enough so that we no longer see the black bars. And for us, it's going to be 0, 0.867. Now we copy that value. We go forward to the first frame that we have and we copy that in now we set that to smooth and we set this to slow and this should make it so that uh we have something like that now i might want to set this to fast actually it really does depend on what you think looks good um but yeah just go ahead and play around with that a bit if you want to i'm gonna go ahead and crop that out for simplicity and now we want to go down here now there are a couple things uh you could try here first what i would recommend is just right clicking and sending to the slow fade and see how that looks for you uh if you don't think that looks good you can just right click set it to split manual drag this up completely head over to curves and uh from there you just go to the end set this to 0, 0.5 so you can actually see it right click set that split manual as well uh and then drag it up again and this will allow you to actually edit uh the uh the curves right here so now we can just go ahead and drag that down sort of like that and you can just sort of try to make it look good now this is this graph editor is absolutely fucking awful so yeah don't really get your hopes up about that but it, it does look slightly better than the uh, the other version so at least you have that like how hard could it really be for vegas to make this good like fucking i whatever 
Um, so yeah, if you're not happy with that, you can just do that. And now once you've made the graph you want, you can just go to the end that you can set this to four again and the curve and the graph will stay the same. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. Uh, obviously you're going to want to add an impact here to sort of split that. We can just add a main impact or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is really about it. I know it's been a short tutorial, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did not know, if you liked them below, come subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.